Welcome back to my channel Orchid House. I'm Olivier in Fort Lauderdale and today I wanted to mount this uh, little phalaenopsis with you. Uh, it's not in super good shape. I mean the leaves, the plant is dehydrated. So I bought it five months ago. It was in bloom. Uh, it was uh, potted in moss, which I don't like because these things rot easily. The little ones rot easily, especially in the winter when it gets cold and then if they are wet that's how it happens. So since I like mounting my uh, orchids, I typically mount uh, these little phalaenopsis. You have an example here, that's uh, Violacea, it's the same family. This is Metawayensis, which is a large Violacea. So the thing is, it was the wrong time. Uh, five months ago, we were uh, early fall. And uh, so now is the right time. And let me show you why. So we have here, three new roots, one, two, and three growing. There's this one, which is at least uh, a good root. I don't know what I'm gonna uncover once I remove the, the moss, but so there's, there's good stuff. And then we have that new leaf growing. So the plant is uh, ready to uh, start a growing season. And so now is the time to mount it so that it, it gets an opportunity to attach to the mount very quickly. So, Let's see what happens when I remove the moss. Okay, so this is a good root, so I don't want to damage that in any way, shape or form. And it's not wet enough. Maybe it is, I don't know. You can tell it was already repotted here. What do we have? I'm going to wet this a little bit more. It's not wet enough. You can tell these roots are terrible, so no wonder the plant is dehydrated. There's really, except for the one there, and then the three new ones, I don't see anything green. This is tightly packed too, God. So I'm glad I, I kept it on the very dry side for a while because it was really, there was really not much that the plant would have taken anyway. And these will have a small rest in the winter anyway. So, okay, so we have a terrible root system. Really terrible. So what do we have besides this one here and then the new little ones? There's really nothing. So I think I'm gonna just get rid of most of these. Where is my good root? So that's the good root right there. So this is all bad. So I'm just rid of that. So just gonna keep one here, maybe just a few, but this is dried out, go the way. And as you can tell, we still have uh, an inflorescence here because these things, they will rebloom for many years. As long as it stays green, you keep that. Okay, so I think that's it. Actually here, there's only that part that works. I'm gonna get rid of that too. So, done a lot of cutting, so I'm gonna disinfect this. I'm using peroxide pure, 3% hydrogen peroxide. If I was spotting that, I would also uh, put cinnamon powder, but I'm in here for the mounting. Okay, so this is gonna be the mount, and I have to try and figure out how to mount this. So, uh, I always mount them like this because you don't you don't want the water to uh, stagnate in the crown, so you want to fall off. So I'm gonna so 
So I need this good, where is my good, there is my good root. I want this against the wood somewhere so that they can try and attach. And then my new roots, and where are they, the new roots? Let me go again, they were here. Ah, well, okay, so. You really have to try to find the sweet spot. It's not always easy. Maybe I, I picked the wrong mount, we'll see. close enough to the, the wood here so hopefully it's gonna attach to that and then you really want to uh, keep the roots hydrated and that's why you're gonna use a little bit of moss here uh, what I've noticed is that those green tips for instance I never put them inside the moss I want the roots here to be hydrated so that it, it, it brings moisture to the tip but if you put this inside the moss, they tend to rot. So this is it here. I'm trying to keep it away from the crown. Even though this root is really mushy. There's not, nothing in there. No use for that. Okay, so there's really very little here, but I think with the new roots growing the new leaf, I think this plant is ready uh, to do something nice. And if there's a good time to do it, now is the time, so. All right, so now I have to attach this. I'm using Velcro. There's many different ways to uh, tie a plant to a mount, but I like Velcro because it's very soft. It never damages the plant and you can really tight it, uh, tighten it very firmly, which is what I'm gonna do here. So. Okay. So first test, you want to see that your plant is not wobbly, which is not that great. So I'm gonna, you see there's another root here and that might come back. So that one I want to be against the wood. So I'm gonna use a narrower tie here. It's also going to stabilize the plant even more. I mean, a wobbly mounted plant, uh, that's a death sentence because the plant refuses to grow. It doesn't feel secure. So you always want to make sure that your plant is very, very tightly against the mount. This is better. Okay, so we have these roots here, which are gonna grow and they, they're eventually gonna attach to the mount. Hopefully this one is gonna come back and then I, I need this one that I want to touch the wood because I want it to start attaching to the wood very, very quickly. So I'm gonna put it here. And now I'm gonna try and secure that. So how are we gonna do this? Okay, so the long way. It's not very pretty at first. Now you really you want to keep that secured as long as the plant is not attached on its own. And again, I really do this very very tight as much as I can and now here well it's not good enough so let me see okay there you go so it's touching the wood so hopefully it's gonna go that wood's there and then attach maybe sometimes branch out so now we have a plant that doesn't wobble it's completely stable there are roots growing which hopefully are gonna grow fast and attach to the wood and that little leaf and uh, so I think we're good to go here. So this is a metawayensis. There are three types of violacea. Uh, the one I showed you here which is from uh, the island of Sumatra. Uh, the Bellina uh, which is the same family but that, that's from Borneo. It looks different, different colors. And then this one is really a very large violacea. So the leaves are uh, bigger. The inflorescence, inflorescence is much longer and the, the flowers are way bigger but they have a very uh, similar fragrance. 
and then just to show you how the beauty of mounting this is not a polytylus this is a large uh, phalaenopsis species it's my Schilleriana. it's been mounted for five years and every year it reliably blooms so uh, yeah, the, the inflorescence the spike now and I would say probably within a month this should be open it's a fantastic rose fragrance and uh, I've I haven't gotten two uh, spikes yet, so I hope it's coming next year, maybe. But this is a very well-established plant, as you can tell, it, it, it's, it's attached itself very uh, nicely to the mount. That's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.